we will now learn cash flow forecast, which unlike the cash flow statement is forward looking and is a prediction of what's going to happen in the future. Being a forecast, it will be wrong, but we will try to make it as accurate as possible and typically you use your cash flow statement to help predict what will happen in the future. Okay, so right here we have a template of what a cash flow forecast should look like. Our columns are our months and our rows have our inflows, the money coming in, and outflows, money going out. So we have our opening balance. This is the money you have when you go into the office January 1, so start of the month at 8 a.m. That's how much cash you have available in the bank, okay, or is cash available. Um, and it's the same as your closing balance from the previous month. Um, inflows typically will be sales. There can be a few other inflows, but typically for us it will be sales. Outflows can be a variety, a variety of items, utilities, wages, rent, etc. Um, the totals for both is pretty simple to calculate. Uh, net cash flow is just your inflows minus your outflows. And our closing balance is just that opening balance plus our net cash flow. What this tells us is at the end of the month, how much cash do we have? The net cash flow just tells us from our um, expenses and our revenue that we had from the month. Were we cash positive? Do we actually make more cash? Or are we cash negative? This is very important for working capital. You have to remember uh, working capital is extremely important because businesses uh, typically fail because of working capital issues, especially startups. They might have great profit, but they don't have enough cash for the daily running of their business. Okay, so now that we understand the template, let's look at a question. All right, so in this question here, the first thing you need to do is annotate and note any important information. So I'll highlight a couple things. All right, um, a hundred thousand dollar bank loan. Yes, it's a hundred thousand, um, not ten thousand, and it will be our opening balance. So it's or deposited, and it's going to be our opening balance. So I know what that number is. Next, I need to look at our um, uh, let's see, our inflows and our outflows, and I want to right now tell myself what are they. So startup cost. That's money going out. That's an outflow. Interest payment. That's an outflow. Rent, that's an outflow. Monthly utilities, I have to pay for this. Outflow. Labor, pay my guys who work for me. And stock, I'm a restaurant, I have to buy food. These are all outflows. And finally, I have an inflow. Predicted sales. So these are sales I think I'm going to have. Okay, so with this, I have the most pertinent information highlighted. I can get to it quickly and go on and fill in my cash flow forecast. So with this, we can look at our cash flow forecast. One thing that I think is really important is when you fill it out, you don't do all of January at once, all of February at once. Instead, go by the outflow item or the inflow item. And then do your calculations, your total cash, inflows and outflows, net cash flow, um, next, and then your closing balance and subsequent opening balance. But first thing you do is put in those inflows and those outflows. It's the quickest way and most accurate way you can do it. So, um, looking at the question again, it said a $100,000 bank loan for our opening balance at the start. So I will go ahead and put that in, 100000 Okay. And now I look for my, we can do inflows. So inflows, do I have any? Yes, one. It says predicted sales of 50000 in January with an increase of 10% per month. So in doing this, I can say, okay, January. I know I have month one. It should be Jan, but is 50000 And then I know that I am at... 10% uh, more, so that's going to put me at 55000 and 10% more will put me at 62500 Alright, so I had to look at 
my uh, question. Only once reading this, 50,000, 10% per month, and then I could do all the items every month for sales. Now we go on to our um, outflows. So, startup costs, 70,000. This is a one time thing. So, I put in my startup cost. 70,000 and now I know for the rest I have nothing. It was a one time thing. Okay. Now we have interest. It says interest is a thousand. All right. Um, and what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to fill this all out just for time and I'll explain why I filled it out for you. So just one second on that. Okay, so I've now filled out the rest of the inflows and outflows and total cash uh, inflows and outflows. Um, the only really tricky one was rent. So when we look at the question, it says rent is 24000 per year. So automatically I'm going to put that in per month. So that is 2000 per month, but it's paid quarterly. So it's paid every three months starting in January. So I know then that we paid um, for three months... At 2000 a month, we paid $6,000 in January, uh, month one, and I don't have to pay again until um, April, which is not on here. That's why these numbers are zero. Um, so I fill this all out. I have my total cash inflows, my total cash outflows. Now I need to calculate my net cash flow, and so that's simple as inflow minus outflow. Um, in doing this, so I have my first one is negative, which is not surprising since we're a startup, negative 72500 We had all those startup costs, so we are negative. However, we start going into the black, we start making some money uh, coming up. We have a little bit, 6250 and then we go again, uh, 9,000. So we're making a positive trend. All right. And now our closing cash balance. So we're taking our opening balance and our net cash flow to get our closing balance. So 100,000 plus um, this negative 72,500 is 27,750. All right. Um, our next one is 34,000. And then finally it is 43,000. Um and in many ways you sh I shouldn't have known the answers to this because I hadn't put my opening balance yet. Uh, that's my bad. But basically, um, just so we know, closing balance in month one, 27750 will be our opening balance of month two. So that's where I get my 27, oops, okay, uh, my 27750 here. And that's then how I made that calculation to get my new closing balance. So I took the 27,750 plus the 6,250 to get my 34, and then my 34 will go up in here. Um, however, you cannot get the answer like I did for those closing balances um, without doing this first step of the opening balance. Since I have a separate piece of paper here with the answers, I just put them in for you. But you have to do, like I said, your each inflow and each outflow first, then your totals, then your net. Then you can get your closing balance for your first month, opening balance for your next month, closing balance, opening, closing, going down the line. Um, the biggest mistake people have on these questions are stupid little math errors. So just be careful when you do that. Um, really, it's just putting the wrong number on your inflow or your outflow. Okay, so that is cash flow forecast.